Most companies these days receive hundreds of applications for a single job. With the job market feeling very competitive for many of these prominent roles it can feel like a big win when you receive an email indicating that you have been shortlisted for a position. Hence the importance of being prepared for the questions that will be presented to you in the recruitment interview to increase your overall chances of winning the job. We will now review the most important questions you will be asked during a job interview. 1. What are the roles of the planning engineer? The planning engineer's role includes preparing workable work schedules, examining project plans, and making recommendations on schedules to reduce costs and increase productivity. Ensuring that schedules are consistent with contracts and resolving issues related to schedules. 2. What are the qualities that make a successful planning engineer? For a planning engineer to be successful, he must be analytical and organized. Must be a problem solver and have a good understanding of project scheduling. Furthermore, this role requires advanced planning and excellent time management skills. One also needs to be flexible to change as work on the project progresses. 3. What is the daily routine of a planning engineer? The planning engineer may have various duties. But on a normal day, he sets project schedules according to contract agreements and planning controls, prepares reports, and evaluates suppliers' schedules to ensure they adhere to the master schedule. Other duties include distributing project labor hours appropriately, ensuring all schedules are efficient and managing schedule communications. 4. Why do you think you would perform well in this job? I am currently performing the same role in my current role. From the challenges I faced, I gained a lot of experience and enhanced my skills, which qualifies me to perform this role with expertise and effectiveness. 5. As a planning engineer, how would you rate your success? I evaluate my success by achieving the goals set by my superiors. I consider myself successful whenever I meet them or exceed set goals. Other than that, I seek to see if other employees are satisfied with my service. If they are, then I consider that a success. 6. How do you work under pressure? If there is a lot of work to be completed within a specified time, First stay calm. Next, I prioritize tasks based on their importance. Besides, I keep the focus on the task at hand to make sure I get it done right and fast. 7. How do you prioritize your work? The most urgent and most important tasks come at the top of the list, while the less urgent and important tasks come last. 8. How do you motivate an individual who is reluctant to do more work? Look at the person's views and needs to understand what makes them hesitant. If they lack certain tools, I will make sure they have all the tools needed to complete the additional tasks. Besides, I would like to convey the desired goal and create an incentive progression or incentive reward. 9. If a worker informs you of a problem, what approach should you take to solve it? Inquire more about the problem to get all the information about it. Next, I will consider all possible solutions to the problem. By evaluating the quality of each solution, I will determine the most appropriate one. Then, I will implement it to eliminate the problem. 10. If hired, what are your future goals? My future goal is to become more skilled and experienced in the profession. And to offer much more value in the future. 11. How do you disagree with your boss about a decision you know isn't right? I aim to build a good working relationship with my boss. If I discover that a particular decision is wrong, I will talk to my manager about it and point out the facts. Besides. I will explain the impact of the decision. Then I suggest alternatives. 12. If you made a decision that did not lead to the results you expected to achieve, 
How would you handle this situation? First, I will take the error and then assess the damage caused. The goal will be to understand how this happens. Then, I will use this situation as a learning opportunity and brainstorm other solutions that will help reduce the current problem. In the end, I will choose the most suitable solution. 13. As a planning engineer, how do you challenge the status quo? I will discover projects that are behind schedule. Next, I will plan how to improve operations and processes to get them back on schedule. Once I have developed my plan, I will discuss it with the relevant project managers. I will endeavor to show how my approach ensures that their projects are completed in a timely manner. 14. What is the most rewarding thing about your current job? It is very rewarding for me to support other workers to achieve success. I have trained many subordinates who have worked with me at different times. Seeing them learn how to do their job effectively and eventually become successful is very satisfying. 15. How do you manage the different personalities at work? I make an effort to get to know each employee on an individual level. By understanding their personalities, I adapt my style to effectively suit each person. Having people with diverse personalities is beneficial for any company. This is because they can offer different perspectives and ideas that will enhance the decision-making process. 16. Describe how you manage your work week. On Mondays, I report early and set a work schedule for the week. I set deadlines for each task as well as goals for each day. I make sure to set aside some time each day for the tasks that may arise. I prioritize tasks, taking into account that I also have time to perform unplanned activities. 17. How do you keep up with trends and developments in your profession? I read a lot about new developments taking place in my profession. By following up on newsletters that publish industry news. In addition, I attend regional seminars organized by our professional association every three months. During these seminars, we discuss new developments as well as issues facing the industry. 18. How do you resolve the dispute between two of your colleagues? I will start by understanding the cause of conflict from each employee. Next, I'll think of a flat floor on which both sides can level. Then, I'll meet with both and pass on the solutions I've thought of. Also, I would ask them to let go of their personal positions and agree to move forward as co-workers. 19. What do you consider a good work environment? A good work environment is what supports employees to work optimally. It makes workers want to come to work. Moreover, it promotes growth and development of employees as well as achievement of goals. 20. What have you done about personal development in the last year? I followed several cores in planning and scheduling. Through it, I enhanced my professional skills. I can now plan and schedule much better than before. Conclusion Study these questions and answers to gain the confidence you need to pass your next interview. Each is intended to adequately prepare you for the actual interview. By mastering these interview questions and answers, you can differentiate yourself from all other candidates.